Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 19 wins, five losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Sonia All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back your corners, not gloves. Round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start thinking about strike. Huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice one, two there. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't oh, take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just misses there with the left. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this one. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Oh! So many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. What a punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just out of range with the big right hand. Protect your face. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, he put on the best poker face he could there, but he is just getting punished continuously by that hook. He is getting dominated with one singular strike. It's amazing to watch. Truly a great performance by this young fighter. Big leg kick lands. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big head kick land. Try to establish that jab. They continue to exchange. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. There's no tell on that leg. Kick. Oh, good kicks. No, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Just trying to double up on that jab. Oh, double jab yet again. We talk about the jab in and of itself as a lost art in mixed martial arts, but doubling up on it. Beautiful. I mean, doubling up on it beautifully. He looks like a boxer. This is not an MMA fighter. He looks like a professional boxer out there fighting behind the jab. Oh, big punch land. Blocks the shot. Right on the button. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Great right right for the end of round one. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. We've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Trying to establish that jab once again.
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Pretty significant well to the left side. Come on now. Jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Nice sneaky head kick. Just misses with the jab. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the you fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Nice punch there. Spinning back fist out of nowhere. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Doubles up on the jack. Straight punch land. Just missed with the left there. You gotta check these low Hands leg kicks. Up. Hands up. Unable to land with that punch. Head kick. Big kick land. with that jab attempt there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this with a smile on my face. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, the head kick again. Man, that's hard to watch. Another brutal head kick upstairs. And you gotta wonder at this point, what is it gonna take to knock this man unconscious? Good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. Both fighters throwing heat now. Beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting a straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. I need you to show something. You have to protect yourself. Let's get this fight going. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon, both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. 
right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice, nice. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice head kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Big kick lands. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. What a body kick. Defense there, huge block for him. Calm down, it's okay. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Just a slip there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Head kick! Oh! Big hook. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice high kick. Oh! Missed with that right hand. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Overhand is true. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Good stick. How about that chin? Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feel of jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Punch over the top. 
All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice strike. Position. Big power shot there. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big leg kick lands. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Missed with that attempt. Nice defense there. Huge block. Straight right hand now just misses. into that kick. Good shot, good shot. Keep it up. Keep your head. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, straight right. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, big left. Nice head kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that. Oh, oh. oh, strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. So calm in the face of such a big spot. Pretty good right hand. Nice. Oh, well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Another highlight for the real DC is to look back at that scintillating knock. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar! Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything.